Joining us now, though, to talk about the life and legacy of Donald Rumsfeld is an appointee that served during the George W. Bush administration and the president currently of Americans for Limited Government, Richard Manning. Richard, good to see you. Good seeing you, Sean. So I was just mentioning to Lindsay, you know, I, I tweeted it out. I, I had forgotten some of the rules, but as a young staffer on Capitol Hill, I used to love to go through Rumsfeld's rules and remind myself of all of these sage pieces of advice that he had given. And I'd say, OK, now when I get into that situation, I know what to do or not do. And it, it's it's sometimes we forget um, the impact and the legacy and the jobs that he had. Yeah, I mean, the fact is, he's a guy who was chief of staff during the Nixon administration. He served in the Nixon administration, and, and he served through George W. Bush administration. And in doing so, he set, he set a legacy for people for 30 years on how to do things in government and how to advance. One of the things that struck me about him is his just incredible work ethic. Um, the idea that he would be picked up at 5.30 in the morning with briefing papers and would not really, and he'd just keep working until basically it was time to go home late at night and just every single day dedicated to getting his job done to protect this country. It's one of those legacies that anybody who's trying to figure out how to serve in this country should take to heart and say, that's how you do it. There is no room for rest. There's plenty of rest after you, you stop serving. Yeah, and you talk about him being such a hard worker. I think some people may have forgotten as well. He was actually at the Pentagon on 9-11 when those terrible attacks happened. He was helping people get out. Um, his team was saying, we got to get you out, sir. But he was helping other people get out. You worked with him. What do you remember specifically um, about some of your experiences with him? Well, John Rumsfeld was a guy who was intense. He was a guy who had a, had a plan. And he implemented it. And he never put himself ahead of the of the president. He was the person who would get it done. And it didn't, and he would get it, and he's somebody you could depend on to get it done. And oh, by the way, if he couldn't depend on you to get it done, you didn't get a chance to play twice. <laughs> you know, uh, as Lindsay mentioned, he's held all these jobs. Like I, I feel like everybody now knows him from his job, his last position as Secretary of Defense during the Iraq and Afghanistan war. But as you mentioned, he was a chief of staff under Ford. He was a naval officer. He was a congressman, a presidential candidate. I, I hope that people take time to realize the breadth and depth of his experience in service. I, I think it's that depth and, and breadth of that experience that really informed what he ended up doing as Secretary of Defense. Because when you think about the policy, the Iraq policy and the Afghanistan policy, what the Bush administration attempted to do was something very different. What they attempted to do was rather than play the, play the standard uh, game that was being played in the Middle East, they actually tried to do stuff that would fix it. And while you can look back in time, you can say, did it work? Did it not work? Where did it mess up? What you cannot say is that, the, that that administration, and Donald Rumsfeld himself, was dedicated to the premise that you can't continue doing something that isn't working and expect to get a different result. And so consequently, <laughs> he used his breadth of skills and his ability to, to really apply what he knew in real force, personal force to try to get, new, get something different, get a different result in the Middle East. We can all debate 20 years later whether what they did was right or wrong. What I can tell you is what they did in that time was a bold stroke to try to solve a problem that's been pretty intractable. And I think that his legacy should be as somebody who's a problem solver, someone who was unafraid to try new things, and who was a, a real driving force behind innovation that solves problems rather than just accepting the problem and throwing up your hands and say, I guess we'll just do the same thing over and over again. Hmm. A public servant who loved our country. Richard, thank you for being here with us as we continue to honor the legacy of former Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld. Appreciate your time. Thanks for having me.